Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from Better Homes and Gardens Encyclopedia of Cooking from 1970, we're going to be making the Creole sandwich. First thing we have to do is cook a breaded fish fillet according to package directions, which in this case is in an oven. All right, while the fish is cooking, let's make the rest of the sandwich filling. We're gonna saute some green bell peppers, an onion, and butter until soft. Now we stir in canned tomatoes that have been cut up, sugar, salt, sliced stuffed olives, a pinch of garlic salt, and a little bit of pepper. Now we're to cook this for about 15 to 20 minutes or until thickened, which, okay. Okay, to make our sandwich, we put the fish onto a buttered hamburger bun and top with our uh, sauce. Okay, let's give this Creole sandwich a go. That's pretty good, actually. I thought maybe because it used garlic salt and salt, it was gonna be too salty, but the bun and the fish are handling it nicely. And it's just a tomato sauce, basically, with a little onion and green pepper. It's actually pretty good. I do wanna plus it up a little, though. I'm gonna add some chili flake. Bring a little heat to the party, why not? Okay, let's give this Creole sandwich plus up a little red chili flake. Ooh. Goes well with everything in there. Olives, tomatoes, fish. Mm. I gotta say the Creole sandwich, atypical for a fish sandwich, especially one that uses a frozen fish filet, but it was tasty. It was good. Um, I'm gonna give the original, I think, probably about an eight. Plus up a little uh, chili flake, eight and a half. That is delicious. I am gonna finish that. And I'd make this again for lunch, sure. It's tasty. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow.